Welcome everybody, my name is Silver Yukiru, and today I'm going to be playing Valkyria Chronicles. This is going to be a full and blind let's play. Unless you've seen this before, you know about as much as I do. Uh, there are tanks? I guess I do know that much. And it's probably, probably what I saw from the cover, is that it's a real-time strategy game. And it's gonna be fun! Yeah, we're gonna have this experience together, it's gonna be great. Please excuse my terribleness at YouTube for now, because this is going to be my first playthrough, actually. I'm hoping Sega doesn't decide to take down my video, because they're jerks and all that, but... We're gonna jump right into this. I am excited to do this! I'm gonna try not to talk over the cutscenes. Exactly why I didn't want to do the, uh... The year was 1935. Visual novels. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Cliché burning of maps. Disregard everything I said, I'm going to be a total jerk with these cutscenes. Gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two You mean Poland? But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. Was that Sweden? It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of no, an that's... avalanche. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. D don't count me on anything when it comes to history. Gallia to arms. Alright, so it appears we're playing as the little underdog Gallia. So a little background on my ability to do games at all. Uh, I'm I'm a very large fan of the East series, and that's about all the experience I have. Period. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're gonna do great. We're gonna, it's gonna be fine. Right, you all believe in me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Graphics are nice. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Oh, those parts look dangerous. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. Wouldn't the capital be, like, the first to be invaded? Since it's a small country, you can take it over quite easily if you just hit the capital first. I haven't been down this road in years. I mean, with this such sparse so countryside, it'd be really hard to position your armies there and keep them fed. I mean, I guess there might be stores of food somewhere, but already. Hey there, guys. I wouldn't see it as the ideal place. Beautiful. Starting early this year. We're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? They don't seem to be headed upstream. They seem to be very static. Are there no such documents of fish? Or are you just an artist? Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. I haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, 
My name's Welkin. Wait, you are I don't think he had that in his hand. <laughs> We're with the Brutown Watch. He didn't have that pad in his hand when he put his hands up the first time, so we reached down to grab it. Imperial spies are in the area. This book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. Do I know her voice actor? You know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. That was great. Okay. Moving on. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks, is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. Her hands are very disproportionate. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! And only those two assholes ever decided to attack. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Oh, the menu by pressing the F button, then save to record the progress and steam clicking. Okay. Random key? Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, I'll save. Which one? Oh, I guess I'll just do this. Okay, here's the plan. Okay. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. I only saw two. What's up with that? Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all the enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. <laughs> Alright, straightforward enough. Stay calm and get it done. Uh, 
I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. When combat starts, you'll see a map off of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, then press spacebar. Doing so uses one of the command points, CP, displayed on the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander, and represent the number of times you can give instructions, i.e. control, your units per pl each pl player phase. In this battle you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. No. Whoa. Trippy controls. Thank you very much. Here we go. Uh, action points. Use CP to select a unit in command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit until you select around the field. Move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. For now, use the WSAD to move the units near the sandbags. Do I really need my, my mouse at all? About attacking. Press the E button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with their currently selected weapon. Use the WASDDs to move the crosshairs onto the enemy, or the Q and E buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode, so take your time and aim well before pressing space to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. No, no, you always, always shoot for the heart. Never try and shoot for the head. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, they may launch a counter attack. A damaged unit may not have the HP to survive the enemy's encounter, so be careful when planning your attack. So it was E, I think it was? Yep. Is there another? Okay, I cannot hit that guy. Can I hit? Nope, he's behind a rock. Just have to hit him. You, you, buddy. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Wait, what are those numbers up there? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, goodness. He knows I'm here. He knows I'm here. Shoot him. A unit, a unit will re with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press escape to end their current action. Then you will return to return to command mode where you will be able to select the next unit as you wish to do it. You can press escape at the end of a unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have AP. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yes. You can't attack anymore, right, Walton? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna come over here. Misha. Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright. I don't think I can move anymore, so let's get the other guy. Wow, these controls are getting... <laughs> I need to get used to these controls. <clears throat> they're kind of really... No, 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 kind of. They're really, really wonky. Not using cover.
Why doesn't he use the cover? When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press space to take cover behind them. While hiding behind covers, units are harder to, to target. Take less damage and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significantly more, da significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your act actions safely hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to, sure vi to secure victory for Galia. Huh. Uh, rock, 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 rock. rock. No, I can't, I can't do the rock? No? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, there we go. Yep. Okay, welcome. Come on. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player slash enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn. Therefore, the fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you'll receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to find a challenging balance. Yes. Wait, I thought... No, I was just hitting the head. Don't try to tell me I wasn't. Uh, oh, wimps, then your guns suck too. Using CP effectively. When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of three CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. CP are a precious resource, however you have to choose to manage them. How you choose to manage them, then, will decide your fate. Alright. Was that a panty shot I just saw? I don't think I take kindly to that. In a strategy game... Nah, nah, that's fine. Come on, no, no, hide. And we'll get you, town guardsman. You, 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 there we go. No, what, yeah. Yep, there we go. You're all dead! I killed them all! Saxon, Kanseda. B rank. Oh, oh, I got a B rank. Oh, I, I gotta go back and get an A rank while off camera. Okay. 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 I probably did really badly. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. <clears throat> We're gonna go Utawara 
Utawara Rumono style and take over everything. It's gonna be great. Oh! Seeds from the lion's paw. I believe that just a couple of days ago, uh, the Utawara Rumono second season came out, and I'm super pumped for that. Uh, I actually probably have it open in my tab right now. That it wasn't all just people killing people. Right. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. I'm gonna fall in love. Great! I love love stories. It's gonna be great. I play so many dating sims. I don't think that counts as gaming experience, as to which I referred to earlier. Chapter One, in defense of Brule. As F, yeah. No, no, no. Yes. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. I won't question how it operates. Actually, now that I looked at it closer, it looks more simple, but... Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. Thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> Shouldn't you be recruiting every able-bodied man to help you? Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, that's important. How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light job won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. Hello there. Um... Oh. I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Oh. 
arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkie? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkie. Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you... Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? And who's that with him? This. My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died with... The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. But he did nothing! What was the point of him coming? All right, I will. I'll See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Oh. I don't get it. But I think at this point I'm going to just call it an episode. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be putting one of these out again very, very shortly. Uh, likely in the next day or two. I'm actually hoping to get to one or two, uh, one video a day, or, or one video every two days in the next couple of weeks. So I hope you'll stick with me and see my progression on YouTube. It's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. And I'm going to get a face cam. It's gonna be great. Uh, sadly, I have the potential for a face cam, but it would be very, um, very, very low resolution, and my video recorder doesn't like that kind of thing. It's way too hard to process and would take hours longer. So I'm just going to brush that under the rug for maybe a month. But after that time, I will surely get into looking into a, a really, really nice uh, recording system. So until then, guys, I will see you next time. Janya.